Hey everybody, welcome back. Today I'm going to be talking about how to use plastic gauge to check the clearance on on rod and main bearings. So after you've cleaned everything up and get new rod and main bearings or check your existing your your uh, current bearings you get some plastic gauge just like this and the package comes with two different sizes uh, one of them is good for uh, two to six thousandths of an inch and then it's got a uh, measuring uh, you know a way to check the clearance and then there comes with another one that goes from one to three thousandths is the green so you can in the in the CBX case you can use either the green or the red so it's pretty simple to to use really uh, what you do is the package comes with what looks like a very thin string and one of the strings is red in the red package and green in the uh, in the green package and then you uh, look in the shop manual which shows you some pictures of how to use it and then it also gives you the uh, the torque specs which is shown there and the clearance that that you shoot for on the plastic gauge in this case it's uh, three thousandths or uh, yeah three thousandths of an inch for both the rod bearings and the main bearings so today I'm just going to show you on the rod bearing I'm just going to do one here to kind of show you basically how to to do it so what you do is you like I said it's got a piece of string in there it looks like a piece of string and it's inside folded up inside here there it is there it's it almost looks like dental floss and you just pull it out to whatever length you need and I'll show you there so what you do is you put it in in this direction just kind of hold it in place and then you get a pair of scissors I usually get a pair of scissors some people use a razor blade or whatever but I use scissors it doesn't have to be exact it just has to span across there so I just kind of hold it in place And you want to have the journal straight up so that the rod is face facing down. So I'll show you, it's just laying across there. I'll, sh I'll grab the camera here and show you. So it's just laying perpendicular, just like that. It's kind of delicate, so you have to be really careful. Then you take the rod and the cap and make sure the cap goes on correctly where the C or whatever letter that you have lines up properly. It's a little tough to get apart here. And then you put the rod in from below 
just be careful that you don't knock the crank where it knocks the plastic gauge off. And then when you put the cap on, you have to be really careful not to disturb the plastic gauge. Like I said, it's really delicate. Having a little bit of trouble getting the cap on here. doing this in real time because I just want to show you oh basically how you have to be really delicate so that that plastic gauge doesn't fall off while you're doing it. It's a little tricky. Once you got it seated down, just hold it very carefully. You don't want to rotate the rod. Get it as snug as you can with your fingers so that it holds that plastic gauge in, in place. Then you get your torque wrench and it says to torque it between 20 and 23 pounds and I always do it right in the middle. So I've got it at 21 and a half. That way if you happen to over tight it a little bit or you know whatever then you're still in within the the range so whatever the torque range is on anything on the engine especially I always do it right in the middle so that like I said just in case you happen to over tight it a little bit tighten it a little bit then it's you're still within the acceptable range So once you've tightened it to the torque specs, then you immediately remove the cap. And again, just do a little bit at a time on both, on both so that it, it comes loose evenly. Again, when you're when you're loosening it and removing the cap, you again you have to be careful not to rotate the rod because it'll mess up your plastic gauge reading. And this is the tricky part. When you take it off, you, again, you have to be really careful not to move the rod. By the way, the journal has to be dry when you do this. So, as you can see here, you can see the plastic gauge has been smushed to a width that now you take your your gauge and compare it to that now on the rod, on the crank here it, it you know it didn't it doesn't look very good so I'm going to have to probably do it over again but if you look at the uh, the cap 
and then you take your the gauge here and you find three thousandths which is the white space there it's pretty close you just kind of compare it just hold it up against there and compare the distance there and again it looks pretty close so in this case the cap or the bearing seems to be within tolerance so it's up to you I mean you know even though these are the bearings that came out of the engine they could be reused but you know I'm I'm kind of on the fence with that so I mean I'm probably going to go ahead and order new bearings but worst case scenario you could you could reuse them so anyway that's it for this short video and uh, again please subscribe and hit the bell if you want to be notified of future uh, videos and we'll see you on the next one thank you very much Thank you.